All right, so today's lesson is 9.7 notes, angle measures, and triangles. The angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So remember on Friday, we had taken these notes where we had said a rectangle has four right angles. And if you add these up, it equals 360 degrees. Now remember a rectangle, you take a rectangle and cut it in half and you have two triangles, so one triangle is equal to 180 because it's half of 360 degrees. So that's how we get the triangle equals 180 degrees. So looking at number one, we had actually given you all three degrees, so here we're going to cross out this one here. And the way I want you to show your work is this. First you have your formula, A plus B plus X is equal to 180 degrees. Replace your A and B with what numbers you know, so it's 36 plus 90 plus X is equal to 180 degrees. Add up your 36 plus 90 and you get 126 plus X is equal to 180. Subtract 126 on both sides and X is equal to 54 degrees. Go ahead and try number two on your own and when you're ready you can push play. So you should have done it algebraically. A plus B plus X is equal to 180. Add your variable, change your variable to your degree. So you have 42 plus 18 plus X is equal to 180. Add up your 42 and 18 and you get 60 plus 8X is equal to 180. Subtract 60 on both sides and you get X is equal to 120 degrees. All right, number three is a little bit different, so let's look at number three. Number three, if you'll notice, that you have a triangle, okay, and you have your unknown X, and you have 29 degrees, but this right here, we, have, we don't know what that degree is. But if you remember from previous lesson, you have this, and what shape, what does that make? Hopefully you said supplementary angle. And you should know that supplementary angles equal 180. So to find this unknown measurement right here, you have to do your supplementary. So this, remember, it's A plus B is equal to 180. Replace A with 47 degrees plus B is equal to 180. Subtract 47 on both sides and you get B is equal to 133 degrees. So this degree right here is 133 degrees. Now you're able to find out what X is, and you do it algebraically. So you have A plus B plus X is equal to 180. Replace it with 29 plus 133 plus X is equal to 180. Add up 29 plus 133 and you get 162 plus X is equal to 180. Subtract 162 on both sides and X is equal to 18 degrees. Okay, looking at number four. If I highlight this part, you should know from previous lesson, what does that make? Hopefully you had said it makes a vertical angle. So this angle here should be 72 degrees because it's vertical. Oh, for number three, it should be 133 degrees because it's, because it's supplementary. Okay, so now that you have your two degrees in your triangle, you can do it algebraically. A plus B plus X is equal to 180. 35 plus 72 plus X is equal to 180. Add up your 35 plus 72 is 107 plus X is equal to 180. Subtract 107 on both sides and you get X is equal to 73 degrees. Now the other side says if you read the direction, it says find the missing angle, then classify the triangle. This is exactly like what we did in the front, except instead of having it drawn out, it just has the degrees. 
So really think about this has, this, these have x right here, your unknown. Go ahead and solve these algebraically, and then we'll do the second part. All right, so number five, you should have had a plus b plus x is equal to 180. Replace a and b with 26 plus 88 plus x is equal to 180. Add up your 26 and 88, and you get 114 plus x is equal is equal to 180. Subtract 114 on both sides, and x is equal to 66 degrees. Now when we're talking about classifying, look at these, these uh, triangles, and these are degrees. So degrees means you have to classify by acute, obtuse, or right. So this is less than 90, this is less than 90, and this is less than 90. So number five is an acute triangle. Number six, so six is a plus b plus x is equal to 180. 86 plus 28 plus x is equal to 180. Add 86 plus 26 and you get 114 plus x is equal to 180. Subtract 114 on both sides and x is equal to 66 degrees. Okay, so now looking here, 86 is less than 90, 28 is less than 90, 66 is less than 90, so that means that this triangle is an acute triangle. Last one, A plus B plus X is equal to 180, 102 plus 14 plus X is equal to 180, add up 102 plus 14 and you get 116 plus X is equal to 180. Subtract 116 on both sides, and x is equal to 64 degrees. Okay, 102 is greater than 90, so that means it's obtuse. So just looking at that, if you only have one obtuse angle, so it has to be obtuse.